Why are you moving that fish around? Well, the tail looks like it's not touching the bottom, and I thought it's not going to cook. When was the last time you had a portion of fish tails? <laughs> That's a good point. We have cooked for our five celebs fish escabeche. I'm concentrating a lot. The whole fish dressed with a mixed vegetable vinegar sauce. <coughs> Imagine you go to the chippy, you get a whole fish and then you pour vinegar all over it. That's what this is like. <coughs> That's really vinegary. And it's served with festivals, which are a little dumpling. Now, I've had a few dumplings in the past, but I've never had any in that shape. I like my Jamaican food. I've never had this one before, though. It tastes amazing. Whoever cooked this should go on MasterChef. I'm more confident with the veggies so far. I think this is gherkin. Shredded gherkin. Melissa has listed gherkin as her ingredients for the vegetables. I think that's because it's sharp and gherkins come in vinegar. It's so vinegary. If you look at Katie's list, how she describes the dumplings, she thinks there's breadcrumbs on it, fine breadcrumbs. Of course, there's not. It's my interpretation of what I think I can taste. Why have I put car? Car? What the hell have I written car down for? I almost feel like I'm a caveman and I've just come out into the open. I'm just sort of sampling new foods. Will has done pretty well here. He's actually identified time in the sauce. He may be the only one who's done that. What is that? Joe has got the smallest list of ingredients. I think that's a snapper. They ate that in Jamaica, didn't they? He's actually got sea bream, but it's not unlike a snapper. In fact, if he was having this dish in Jamaica, it would probably be a snapper. I can't get a taste from these green things. No, no help. Just walked away. Who can I copy off? I can see Melissa starting the dumplings. I'm just going to look what she does. There's a lot of, not even a bit, there is a lot of guesswork going on here. She's using milk. Milk's in there. I can see milk in there. Joe's just watching everybody else, wondering what to do. But actually, Joe's got a decent idea. But every time he watches something, he doubts himself. Ah, oh, mine's too dry. What are you doing with your dumpling? Rolling it? Yeah. In flour? Yeah, Mum. Mm, that's a good idea. How long would you leave that for? Ten minutes? Today, you tell me. Ah! So I've made a tester dumpling because I don't want to put everything in there and realise I've messed something very vital out. Will, how, how are you? Well, I always want to do better than last time, always improving my polishing, my woodwork. So why not with this? Didn't do so well the first time. Got to do better. That's the spirit. The dumplings and the fish, both quite challenging. I don't know how long to cook the fish for or how to cook the fish. The fish itself is fried. The outside of the fish should be nice and crispy, the inside lovely and flaky and soft. He knows he's got to cook it properly. He had a bit of a problem with his chicken in the last round. He's got to get his fish right. Should it make that noise? Should it be doing that? See that in there. Why are you moving that fish around? Well, the tail looks like it's not touching the bottom, and I thought it's not going to cook. When was the last time you had a portion of fish tails? <laughs> That's a good point. Escovet's fish with festival dumplings. Five very, very different looking dishes. Especially dumplings. One no dumplings, one massive dumplings, and uh, then dumplings in between. <laughs> Joe, yeah. up you come, please, sir. All right, mate. I think I've got it looking as, as close as possible. I don't think it would taste the same, but um, one out of two is not bad, is it? You didn't put enough baking powder in. Right. You have got really nice spicing going on inside your dumpling, but it's the outside. You've you managed to develop like a really thick crust around your dumpling. Right. Your fish slightly over, but it's not a bad job at all. Thank you very much. The vegetables, you took them out of the pan and you put them on a piece of paper. That's why it doesn't taste the vinegar anymore. Right. Leave them in that sauce. I'm impressed with the shape of that dumpling, and I'm not as disappointed by it as Gregor's. Are you disappointed by my dumplings? Oh, no. I said I liked them. You said they were all right, yeah. didn't you? I just said the crust on the outside. Yeah. Joe, tell him. 
I'm happy with that. It could have gone a lot worse. I looked around and there were some right messes on the plate. I was like, mine looked pretty decent. My dumplings kind of look like dumplings, so I'm halfway there and I've made sure that the fish has been cooked properly all the way through. The dumplings aren't bad. <laughs> They're a bit big, but then quite soft in the centre. The issue with them is you've used lots of sugar. They're sweet. I've got a sweet tooth. And what I've got here is I've got sweet dumplings and a sweet and sour sauce with the vegetables. And I really like it. And your fish is cooked well. You can do it. Oh, gosh. Um, thank you. A few weeks ago, if you'd have put that in front of me and told me to recreate it, it wouldn't even look anything like that. I would have just cried and left the room. Your fish is cooked beautifully. Your vegetables, lots and lots of them, a nice bit of sharp vinegar in the background, great. I like the amount of nutmeg inside your dumpling, and I think if these were smaller, they may well have been cooked all the way through. However, for the second time today, I feel I should congratulate you. I think you're doing a good job. You're a bit emotional there, Melissa. Yeah, a little bit. I think because I've had a lot of help in the kitchen in the past because of my arm, I've just let other people lead and I've just said, OK, you, you know, you're helping anyway, so you do it. Maybe this is freeing for you. R yeah. Thank you very much indeed. It was great. And, and look, now, smiles on your faces. You know you've achieved something. And just keep hold of that. Just go for it.